Hello everyone, welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today we'll be taking a look at a case knife. And as you can see from the box, this is one of the carbon steel ones. So you get the white box with the gold case XX on there. You get carbon steel and the X either side of the CS. Carbon steel on that side and this side. And case on that end. And on the back you get some information about it. So made in the USA with domestic and imported materials. The case sort of stamp. And then you can see here we're looking at number 30092 and that is the Amber Bone Peach Seed Jig Sodbuster Junior and then that is model number 6137CS. And then you can see this one was born on April 21st, 2023 and I managed to pick this one up from Heine Haynes here in the UK. Got a very good price on that. So then inside the box you get the standard sort of stuff you would with a case knife. So you have their sort of product information, I won't bother opening it because it goes huge. That comes in there, the knife comes wrapped in this sort of tissue paper as most case knives do. And as it's sort of carbon steel it sort of stops that patina until it gets to you. And then as well you have the Stay Sharp XX Tour. And a little bit of information really about the Case Collectors Club, things like that. A couple of upcoming models, Small Congress telling you that it's the 2023 volt pattern. And some of their more model des modern designs at the top there as well. So we just put them to the side and grab the knife. So this is what we are looking at today. The Peachy Jig Amber Sodbuster Junior with the carbon steel. So you can see here, if I line that up, we have a one, two, three, nearly three and three quarter close length handle. So standard sort of Sodbuster Junior size. You do have this, I mean, absolutely outstanding peach seed jig on the amber bone. You can see like the depth and the ridges in there, I'll bring it up close to the camera. Do have the oval case shield there with the case XX in there. The pins are all done exceptionally well and I'm even more impressed with them because they've had to do it inside jigged bone, which can be quite difficult to get smooth, but they have absolutely nailed it. And you have the two smaller ones here obviously which are holding the bone down, as well as you know the pivot and then the spring ones at the back. Construction on this. I mean, I can't say anything about this at all. It's kind of hard to show up because of the mirror. So there's the tiniest little gap here and a little tiny bit up here. But apart from that, it's flawless. Like I've been very lucky with this. I do appreciate Richard over at Heine Haynes. He did send me a few pictures of this before I purchased it, just so I'd know I'd be getting like a, a good fit and finish. So the jigged on the back as well. Very similar sort of colour to the front, so I do like it when there's quite a nice colour match. You can see the front has more of the white natural bone, where this side was obviously less porous than this side. And you can see it's caught more of the colouring around the outside, more of an amber colour there. Hafted beautifully, nothing rough on there at all. Even this corner here is nice and sort of rounded over and not sharp. The tang's done beautifully and there's just nothing to catch your fingers on. Really nice sort of grip to the jigged bone as well, and it just gives a classy look, I think, to the sod buster. So, we take a look at the blade before we do that, we'll check the centering. So, you can see it is a little bit off to the pile side of the knife, but it's not rubbing or touching, and the blade is dead straight. You can sort of like move it over a bit, but it does eventually work its way back. But a little bit of off centering doesn't bother me as long as there's no sort of blade rub. Nice snap on the open there. You can see the sort of mate up on the back there is very good. There's absolutely no side to side play. And there you go, that, the drop point blade there of the sod buster. Do have the case XX tang stamp. And there we have the eight dots, which would no more than likely, no more. Than, would normally mean it was a 2022 model because they've only taken away two dots. So I'm guessing they had some of the 2022 blades left before they packaged this one up. But the box says 23. So a bit of confusion there with the birth date of this knife. And then on the back, you can see you have the USA 6137 and CS designating it's their carbon steel, which I believe is their own sort of version of 1095. No half stop on this. Just a nice cam tang and a very nice action as well. Nice snap on the open. Nice and smooth and a nice snap on the close as well. 
edge grind on this as well, probably the best I've seen from Case. I've not touched this up at all, and look how uniform that is all the way around. The back as well, they've done an absolutely fantastic job. I'm going to be very picky, you can see down by the sharpening choil the blade curls up a little bit, but I mean that's being very very picky. Obviously this is a fingerprint magnet as it's sort of like a semi-polished, you can see me in the background there, hello. Nice clean nail nick as well, and no fancy like swedging or anything, it's just a nice solid work knife. Nice and clean on the inside as well with the brass liners. So you can see the pin at the back there of the construction and just very well put together. I'm very impressed with this. So I've been carrying this um, in a slip and I've been using sort of the Rough Rider medium slip. It does fit in there pretty nicely. A little bit out the top and this bit folds over just so you can pull it out. I do need to get myself a slip specifically made for this. Really do think I need to get one of the, the guys of YouTube that make the leather work to get me to do one. I think that'd be a great idea. Let me go compare it to the synthetic one now, just so you can see the difference in the sort of thickness. Because obviously, you know, it's exactly the same pattern. There's no point in comparing the specs. They're identical bar the thickness. So you've got the synthetic here and then you've got the bone on the right. Look at the difference. So in hand, you know, so you, this feels like a very nice hefty knife in hand and you'll be able to do a really good day's work with this. I'm not going to be worried about the scales getting damaged or anything like that. This is more of like um, a classy knife for me. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll be using it to do work and things like that. I'm not going to shy away from using it. I'll just be a bit more careful with the bone as I would hate for it to crack or get damaged. But again, very comfortable knife in the hand. Great grip from the, the jigged bone as well. Overall, an absolutely fantastic piece. I'm really happy to have picked this one up. Been looking for a carbon steel sod buster for a long time. I was sort of looking at the CV, but when this one popped up, I, I pretty much had to pull the trigger on it straight away. So I really hope you enjoyed this review, guys, of the Case Sod Buster in the Peach Sea Amber Jigged Bone. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications if you wish to see more content like this. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.